Hi, my name is Natasha Jonathan. I am a crochet tutor at My Creative Butterfly where we transform strings to pretty things. I teach crochet through my courses, classes and patterns not just as a hobby but also as a tool that will help you focus and concentrate better in everything that you do. I've been crocheting for 25 years in which I have taught over 1000 students globally. I design crochet patterns and classes from beginner till advanced level crocheters. You can find me on all social media platforms by the name My Creative Butterfly and to know more about me you can visit my website www.mycreativebutterfly.com Welcome to my YouTube channel and if you like what you learned today don't forget to like and subscribe. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to crochet these pretty pastel face scrubbies. These are eco-friendly, washable and reusable. You can replace your cotton swab for removing your makeup, for cleaning your face and such with these. And these can be reused more than one time. They can be easily washed in the washing machine. So these are easy to use and easy to make. So let us see the material. So I'll be using a size 2 100% cotton yarn. This is a sports weight fine yarn. With this you will need a 2.5 mm crochet hook. Use a 100% cotton yarn if you want to make it eco-friendly. You will also need a tea pastry needle to weave in the ends to finish off the scrubbies and a sharp pair of scissors for cutting out the thread. So let us start with the tutorial. So we will start with the center of the scrubby. The center of the scrubby is a magic ring. So in order to do a magic ring, wrap the yarn two times around the index finger of your left hand like this. Now insert the hook under both the loops and gently remove the loops from your finger. Now place a slip knot in this, sorry, a slip stitch in this like this to keep the magic ring in place. Now we'll make three chains. This will be counted as the first double crochet. Now do 11 double crochets in the magic ring to make a total of 12 stitches. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Now with the first 3 chains this makes a total of 12 stitches. Now close the magic ring by pulling this end tightly. Now to finish the round make a slip stitch in the third chain of the first chain 3 that we made. Do a slip stitch here and your first round is complete. Now for the second round again we'll start with chain 3 that will be counted as your first double crochet 1, 2 and 3. Now we'll increase in every stitch so we'll do a double crochet in the same place where we did the 3 chains. So this makes 2 stitches in the first stitch. Now continue making 2 double crochets in each stitch around and you'll have a total of 24 double crochets and your round 2 will be done. So just like this, keep on doing 2 double crochets in each stitch, 2, again do 1, 2 and 2, then again 1 and 2. Keep doing 2 double crochets. When I say that we have to increase in every stitch, that means that you have to do Two double crochets that is two stitches on each stitch of the previous round so in the previous round we had a total of 12 uh, stitches so in this round you'll have a total of 24 stitches so keep doing two double crochets in each stitch around continue till the last stitch you have two double crochets in each stitch. Two double crochets in the last stitch as well. Now again for finishing this round we'll do a slip stitch in the top 
of the first three chains that we made the third chain first lip stitch and your round two is complete I will start the next round with chain 2 because we'll be doing a four double crochet cluster stitch uh, alternatively in this one so do chain 2 now for doing the first double crochet cluster do a yarn over insert the hook in the same stitch as we did the last slip stitch pull up a loop now do a yarn over and pull through two loops that's it we are not going to finish this double crochet we'll do it again do a yarn over insert the hook again in the same stitch do a yarn over pull up a loop again again do a yarn over and pull through two loops repeat the same step one more time do a yarn over Insert the hook in the stitch, do a yarn over, pull up a loop, do a yarn over and pull through two loops. Now you have total four loops on the hook. Do a yarn over again and pull through all the four loops on the hook. Now finishing this, do a yarn over again and pull through the loop. This your four, first four double crochet cluster is complete. Now do a chain one. Now do a double crochet in the next stitch. So do a double crochet in the next stitch. Again do a chain one. Now again we'll do a four double crochet cluster in the next stitch. This will be repeated 10 more times. So just see how we are doing this so that you can repeat it. So do a yarn over, insert the hook in the next stitch. Do a yarn over again, pull up a loop, take a yarn over, pull through two. That's it. Again do a yarn over, repeat this four times. Do a yarn over, insert the hook in the stitch. Pull up a loop, do a yarn over and pull through two loops. Repeat this two more times, do a yarn over, insert the loop in the stitch, uh, sorry, insert the hook in the stitch, pull up a loop, do a yarn over, pull through two loops. Repeat this one more time, do a yarn over, insert the hook in the stitch. Do a yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again and pull through two loops. Now you have a total of five loops on the hook. Do a yarn over and pull through all the loops. Now to close the cluster, do a yarn over and pull through again. Your four double crochet cluster is complete. Now do a chain one because the pattern is a four double crochet cluster, chain one, then a double crochet, then a chain one, then again a four double crochet cluster, then a chain one so after chain one do a double crochet now again chain one again a four double crochet cluster in the next stitch yarn over insert the hook in the next stitch Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. Again, yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Repeat this two more times till you have a total five loops on the hook. That is four half made double crochets. This is the third one, do it one more time. Now do a yarn over and pull through all the five loops on the hook. Now again pull up pull through one more time to make uh, close the four double crochet cluster. Now make a chain one. Now do a double crochet in the next stitch.
again do a chain one then repeat this pattern that is a four double crochet cluster chain one double crochet chain one till you are done all the way around keep repeating this till you are done with all the stitches of round two that will complete your round three So again a four double crochet cluster chain one a double crochet in the next stitch chain one again a four double crochet four double crochet cluster in the next stitch chain one again a double crochet and a chain one Again, four double crochet cluster. Keep repeating this till you reach the last stitch of this round. Now do one last double crochet in the last stitch of the previous round chain one now do a slip stitch on the first cluster that we made in this round to complete the round that's it we are done with round three now for round four we'll be working only in the chain one gaps so do a single crochet in the next chain one gap then chain three one more single crochet in the same gap just repeat this pattern in each one chain gap of the previous round one single crochet three chain and again a single crochet in the same chain one gap keep repeating this all the way around and you will be done with the last round
once done with the last chain one gap do a slip stitch in the first single crochet that we made in this round to complete round four now just cut off the thread leaving a five to six inches tail so that we can weave it in secure the end and you are done with the scrubby now just weave it in weave in both the ends take your tapestry needle thread it into uh, thread the tail ends in this and pass it through a few of the stitches and then just cut off the thread very close to the work now just cut off the thread repeat the same thing with the other end as well Once done, just cut this tail also very close to the work. That's it. And you are done. Now make these in as many colors as you want. For me, this is springtime, so I have done it in spring colors. If you want, you can do it in bright colors for summers or if you are gifting it to someone, you can make it in their favorite color. So it depends entirely on you, which type of colors and what type of thread you want to use. You can use thicker or thinner thread to vary the size of the scrubbies. But make sure that you use 100% cotton so that it is eco-friendly and it is good for the environment and reuse it wash it and enjoy it as much as you want i hope you enjoyed the tutorial as much as i enjoyed making it and if you liked what you learned today don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to if you want more such hints and tips and crochet tutorials do feel free to join my exclusive facebook community with the link provided in the description thank you so much for watching happy crocheting bye bye